Hi guys, it's Tony here from One Click Homes, giving you guys another update as promised. It's Friday the 27th of March and things have been moving on in the last couple of days in terms of a bit more clarity um, with regards to, to where we're going with things. A few announcements from the government with regards to self-employed workers um, and more movement in terms of you know being able to keep people informed of, of exactly what's happening. Um, buyers that we've been speaking to over the last couple of days with sales that are going through, we've let them know that, you know, we're doing as much as we can. Solicitors are still working on things from home. Um, and basically my job over the last couple of days has been keeping people fully informed as much as I can. You know, speaking to the vendors, speaking to the buyers, making sure that they know that, you know, we're doing everything we can, that we can. But also from both sides, there isn't any change. And, you know, we've been lucky enough where we haven't had any buyers or sellers kind of pulling out over what's going on. Um, and that's probably partly to do with the information we've been providing to them letting them know that, you know, everything that can be done is being done um, and really just keeping people calm, you know, as much as we can in that, you know, once this is all done and dusted, things will continue, things will get back to normal. But in the meantime, we have to do what we can. Um, and so for the sales side of things, we've been keeping people informed. On the lettings, we've got people who are trying to move into properties and luckily for us, we're doing everything we always have. We've done everything online in terms of signing contracts. Um, and getting the paperwork side of things done electronically, so that continues. We've got people who want to move into properties, um, and the ones that are vacant, we're going to try and go ahead with. Um, others that there's people staying there, it's just not going to happen, you know, and that has to be explained to all parties, um, which we've done. So overall, it's been um, good in a sense that you know we've been able to take control of situations, we've been able to pass messages along to people, and keep people calm, you know, at a time when nobody really knows what's going on. We're doing our bit in terms of making sure. People know what's happening, passing messages on, keeping people calm um, and just, you know, letting people know that we are there to help them as much as we possibly can. Um, so that side of things is fine. Sales are, sales are fine. Lettings are fine. Move-ins are happening where they can um, and others we're, we're managing properly. On the viewings and valuation side of things, as you've probably seen, we put up a post earlier today with regards to the virtual uh, valuations and, and viewings that we're offering. Um, and that kind of boils down to, as I mentioned a few days ago, on the sales side, we've got 360 degree virtual tours and everything. Um, and also on the letting side now, on, on properties that we've got, we're basically, we can't do the viewing. So people are kind of, it's funny because people are still phoning up and saying they want to view the property. Um, and obviously being responsible and kind of, you know, keeping with the government guidelines, we can't do those viewings. But what we are doing is, is offering people the virtual viewing. So we've got video walkthroughs of all the properties on the letting side. We're WhatsApping them over to people. So if there are people out there who've got properties that they like the idea of, um, you know, we'll, we'll kind of send it over to you. You know, you can have a look, have a virtual walkthrough, have a, a video look at the property. On the letting side, you know, some people are happy to proceed with that. So that's good for our landlords. On the sales side, it's a little bit more difficult to buy a property when you've seen it virtually. But again, the option is there to see it, to, to have a look at every single part of the property and make a decision if you'd like to. Um, and on the valuation side, you know, it's a time of year um, where things normally are busy in terms of people making decisions of moving forward, selling their properties, buying new properties. So people have always wanted valuations around Easter time. Um, and we're still offering that. So what I would say to everybody who's out there who's thinking about getting a valuation, we're still doing it. So, you know, virtually that is. So feel free, you know, take a video of your home, kind of WhatsApp it or email it over to us, to myself. Um, and then I'll kind of do what I usually do in terms of compiling all the online evidence, um, compiling the reports, sending them over to you and giving you a good sense of where the value is. So we can do all of that online. Everything that we normally do is, is available. It's just that we can't kind of come out there and meet you guys, but we'll be doing everything else we possibly can. But apart from that, the message is the same, guys. Keep positive, keep doing what you're doing and any questions whatsoever, our phone lines are open, our emails are up and running. Um, so we'll be there whenever you need us. Take care, guys. I'm Tony at the One Click Homes team and the OC Group. We'll speak soon. Cheers.